Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan, and it's always a pleasure giving you these 6 p.m. videos. Now, in some presentations, I give you fish, but in tonight's presentation, I'm gonna teach you how to fish. If you've been watching the channel here, this will actually be our third installment of Back to the Basics. Now, the first one we covered moving averages and some of the importances and some of the efficient ways to utilize moving averages. The second was technical analysis, just a basic understanding of how to use technical analysis when it comes to chart reading. Now, tonight, Tonight's presentation, you know, I want to give you more tools so that way you can be successful utilizing the VectorVest software and making money in the stock market. So that's what it's all about. So in tonight's presentation, we are going to cover candlesticks. That's right. I'm going to give you some candlestick patterns, both bullish and bearish. And I'm going to show you how to utilize the VectorVest software to find these patterns with just a couple clicks of a button here. So this being said, if you want to learn how to find your own fish utilizing the VectorVest 7 software or just being more successful in the stock market, generally speaking, by learning how to utilize and harness the power of candlesticks to profit, stick around and let's get started. Now, when it comes to candlesticks and candlestick patterns, there's actually a lot of information you can take in. So in this video, I'm gonna simplify it so that way I can give it to you in just a few minutes. Now, that being said, at my office, at my house, I do have a poster that has candlestick patterns. So that's why I have right in the background here. There's a lot of posters, most of them under 20 bucks. And they do a great job just breaking down the different candlestick patterns and you can see them visually. So that being said here, you know, two that I've picked out, the Amazon here, which is very nice. You got the basic bodies, you know, it gives you the breakdown of candlesticks in general. And it breaks it down from single, double, and triple candlestick patterns with confirmation patterns as well. Now, this next poster here does a great job of actually breaking down these reversals here, giving you some definitions and giving you a sense of actually what to be looking for. Like I said, I try to keep these presentations under 10 minutes. So I just wanted to point this out to you. So that way, after you watch this presentation, hopefully you'll make, I mean, this poster here is only $5 and the other one was $20. So hopefully you'll make that small investment. So that way you can hang it up over your trading area at home or at the office and you can have these tools at your disposal. All right, once you open up the VectorVest 7 software, we are gonna go right over to Unisearch itself. Now, if you're not utilizing the VectorVest software, you can take a trial, it's like $9.95 for 30 days. Definitely worth the investment there. Now, this being said, once you're here over on the left, you see all the different search folders here, and there will be one titled Searches Dash Candlesticks. So if I scroll down, does a great job, gives us all of the major bearish and major bullish candlestick patterns to look out for. In addition to that, some candlestick patterns are actually neutral. You can see the doji, the dragonfly doji, and the gravestone doji. Now, we'll get into details in those in just a moment. Now, the one that I wanted to focus on today was going to be the bearish engulfing pattern here as well as the bearish shooting star. And for the bullish ones, I was gonna focus on the bullish engulfing pattern along with the bullish hammer. So let's begin with the bearish engulfing pattern here. If I just run the search, and let's jump to the graph so we can actually see these patterns. So this is a bearish engulfing pattern here. Essentially, it's just saying that the open and close of the body of that candlestick is wider than the prior candlestick. So if we take a look here, the open was 924, while the close came in at 972. And if we take a look here, the open was at 973, while the close right now sits at 892. So you can see it engulfing the candlestick prior. And this is typically what a bearish engulfing candlestick looks like. Now that being said here, just this one stock with this upper wick showing the selling pressure, that's only confirming the bearish momentum that I see here. Now, when it comes to any candlestick, you always, always, always want to wait for confirmation the following day. So once you see the pattern here and you see some follow through the next day, that is when it would be okay to take the trade. Now, if we close out of this, now let's take a look at that bearish shooting star. We'll hit run search. Go over here to graph all. Now here we have save airlines. And what we're looking for when it comes to a shooting star here, essentially you'd see an uptrend because this is typically a reversal candlestick pattern. You wanna see a long upper wick here showing that selling pressure with a small body at the bottom. We can see that here with save airlines. In addition, definitely see it here. We see an uptrend here in the stock over the last four trading days a long upper wick showing that selling pressure and a body to the downside. Now, if we go down here, we see the same pattern here, 
flat body with an upper wick. So this is how easy it is to utilize the Vector S7 software. So that way you don't have to be scanning graph after graph after graph, because that could take a lot of work here. So I definitely, you know, suggest utilizing the Vector Vest Unisearch platform in order to do this. Now we're going to go over to the bullish side and bear with me for just a moment because I'm going to show you some really cool tricks how we can add to these searches and enhance the results. Now that being said here, we got the bullish and golfing pattern first. So let's just hit run search. So let's go ahead and graph these. Here we have Lyle for a bullish engulfing, very similar to the bearish engulfing candlestick here. You know, yesterday was a down day. However, look at the open and the close right now of this candlestick. We can see it definitely engulfs the prior candlestick. So very easy pattern to identify, but yet very effective as well. And just like I said before, you wanna wait for some follow through, you know, get some confirmation the next day. You know, looking at volume two, you know, gives you a gauge of how much conviction is in that follow through. So I know I don't have volume on here, but definitely consider volume going forward. Here we have JRVR, same concept here. The candlestick, you know, the open and the close of today's body here does engulf the prior candlestick. Just be careful because this does have an upper wick, you know, pretty long here showing some selling pressure occurring. So again, always wait for the follow through. Now, next up, we have the bullish hammer here. When I ran the search, we've got, looks like a bunch of Direxion gold miner ETFs here and Ambev. So let's go ahead and graph these. All right, here we've got J dust here. You can see the bottom of this hammer, you know, almost like the handle while um, the body of the candlestick does sit at the top here. Not the prettiest example, but typically these are on a downward trend, showing reversal here, showing buying pressure. That's why you get this bottom wick. We scroll through these here. Now this is a much better example here because we've got a full body candlestick, no wick at the top of this candlestick here. And then for the third example that came in the list, here we are, a nice long bottom wick showing buyers coming in to you know for the rescue all of these are gap downs as you can tell here we do have a body up at the top since those weren't the previous examples here i did want to just bring up this chart here we can see we got the downtrend here now one thing to look out for this bottom wick here should be at least twice the length of the body itself so you can always see a nice long bottom wick showing buying pressure here but these are pretty examples of what bullish hammers look like. All right, as I stated earlier, I wanna show you how you can actually enhance some of these searches here. For example, we're just gonna use the bullish engulfing pattern. Now these parameters, they are customizable. Now that being said, you always wanna start on the left and just work your way to the right. So we'll click here, we'll go to time of search, we'll go to stocks, and we're gonna select filter by by watch list. That's right. So instead of getting a bunch of stocks that you don't really care about, we can actually filter it out by a watch list. Now, other than just, you know, your own custom watch list. And if you do this, I would definitely suggest having a watch list with a lot of stocks on there because, you know, these are very specific requirements. Now, that being said here, I can just go to the S&P watch list, for example. If I expand it, I would select the S&P 500, no Petro, so no oil stocks in there. I'll click OK. So now if I hit run search, these will be stocks that are showing a bullish engulfing pattern when it comes to the S&P 500. I, I can do the same thing for the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ 100, whatever it may be, even your own list of stocks. Now on top of this, if I go to time of search here, go to stocks, we're gonna go to price volume, price split adjusted, and then here, an option for ProTrader will appear. Now in order to see ProTrader, you either have to have a real-time subscription or you will have to have the ProTrader add-on. You can go to our website, you know, see if that's something for you. But once you go to here to ProTrader, you can add a lot of different requirements here. You know, moving average requirements, you know, breakout of channels, MACD crossovers, EMAs. So for this example, I'm just gonna select EMA. I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna do the three day EMA has crossed above the eight day EMA. I'm sure you've seen me and Glenn Tompkins both utilize these moving averages here. So we would have gotten this crossover within the last one day with the bullish engulfing pattern on the S&P 500. Very specific requirement. Now, when I ran the search here, three stocks came in the top of the list here. And I did run this on February 21st. So that way we can just take a look at these charts and see if we got any follow through. You see here on February 21st, if I click out of here, we did get a green light here on the primary wave signal. So the primary wave, very active signal. Candlesticks typically used by very active traders, thus I compare the two. You know, you always, always, always wanna utilize market timing when it comes to trading in general. So I'll click okay. 
and let's go ahead and graph these. All right, so on this chart, I've got support resistance. I've got the three and eight day and just the candlesticks itself. Now I do have the date line here. Here's the bullish engulfing candlestick. You can see it definitely engulfs the prior candlestick here, especially that body. The three did just cross above the eight day exponential moving average. And look, price action moves up. However, we hit a level of resistance here. So we would have entered in here. We did get follow through. However, on the next day with the close lower than the open here at a level of resistance that would have been my first warning sign and you can see that warning definitely followed suit that's why i'm saying that candlesticks are utilized typically by very active traders here now on this graph here i am noticing a great example of a bullish candlestick you can see here back on the 8th of january we've got a nice downtrend and candlesticks are typically utilized to look for reversals and trends so we see a nice downtrend here however look at this great big bullish candlestick here and golfing the one prior we see a nice follow through the next day we see the three cross above the eight here we see another bullish engulfing candlestick two days later another bullish engulfing candlestick so we're getting a lot of confirmation so this is a great example of a nice run to the upside here until we reach this candlestick here which is actually a bearish engulfing candlestick so that being said you know if you entered here that would be the most aggressive approach however here you do get that follow through now if you're more conservative in nature and you're looking for a lot more confirmation you know especially by here because we have the three and eight day moving averages in our favor so trend is in our favor here with the bullish engulfing candlestick now we got some follow through within two days later so you're getting a lot of follow through here and that's really what you're looking for now the last thing i want to show you was doji candlesticks now this just looks for indecision in the market or the individual stock so let's go ahead and run these and I'll show you what they look like. I'm gonna graph all. Now this is a perfect example of a doji candlestick here. You can see the upper and lower wick should be about even and the body of the candlestick is perfectly flat. So you see the open and close very tight here showing indecision that buyers and sellers are fighting for control here. Now here's another example of a doji candlestick here. You see that upper and lower wick should be about even with a tight body to match. It's really just showing indecision when it comes to that position. All right, VV Nation. Now, if you enjoyed tonight's presentation, put a one in the comment section so that way I can keep doing these back to the basic videos. Again, I try to keep these videos around 10 minutes or under. I think we went over a little over this evening, but I just wanted to give you a good understanding and a good foundation to work from. Now, I hope you will take my advice and, you know, make that small five twenty dollar investment get you a poster so that way you can see and visually understand these candlestick patterns even better now it's always been a pleasure giving you these 6 p.m videos you know i always want to give you fish but at the same time i want to teach you and show you where to find the fish itself so if you enjoyed tonight's presentation and you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so i can keep you updated going forward good night Good day to everyone out there in VV Nation. My name is Jerry D'Ambrosio, Manager of Educational Content, and I would like to invite you to join me at the upcoming VectorVest International User Group Forum. We'll be broadcasting live on the VectorVest YouTube channel on Saturday, March 2nd, 2024 at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll be joined by Rick Franklin, Canadian consultant, and our keynote presenter will be none other than Susan Hayes Culleton, Managing Director of VectorVest Europe. So join us for a global market review, trade ideas, and a a fantastic keynote presentation titled Taking the Pulse on This Week's Earnings. We look forward to seeing you there.